Hi guys, Jessica Beck here with IELTS Energy. Did you know that there are so many definitions for the word flat? Guys, a lot of these definitions are slangy, are idioms. And guys, this is how you increase your vocabulary score on IELTS speaking. So definitely listen up today, guys, and take notes. Choose two or three ways you want to use flat to impress the examiner. And guys, remember, hit subscribe right now so you never miss an IELTS lesson on this channel. All right, guys, hit subscribe and watch the rest of the show. Hey, Aubrey. Um, did So we're talking about vocabulary today. Yeah. And has this ever happened to you where you have thought a word has a certain meaning for years and then you find out that you were wrong? Because this just happened to me. This just happened to me too. Like no 10 way. minutes ago in a class. <laughs> this is going to be a little, uh, it's going to be a The word was mensual, mensual, which I always thought had to do with a woman's cycle. Men's just means monthly. Mm, well, just yes. the word mensual because mm. a student used it in an essay and I, I looked it up because I'm like, maybe it's used more in Britain. I've yeah. never heard someone say it. It's so -E S-U-A-L. It just means monthly, just monthly. Oh, I know. Well, yeah. We never use it. We never hear it. And when I've I looked at it, I assumed it had to before. do with like menstrual, some menses, something. Nope. It just means monthly. That's Fascinating. Awesome. Super useful on IELTS. Very, that's band nine to be able to use that. Completely. And it just means monthly. I was fascinated. That's I learned such something. such a great word. So we have like annually and yes. mensually. That even saying that word sounds weird. So the word, the word that came to me was haberdasher. I always thought so it good. meant um, someone that makes hats for men, because anytime I've seen that word, it's always like at, at a store with the hat haberdashery. That's what I thought it was too. It's not, yeah, no, it's what? all it's, um, it's custom made clothes for men. And so it's clothes and accessories for men. Okay. That makes sense. It's not just hats. <laughs> anyway, okay. so there are two great words for you guys already, mensually and haberdasher. Um, <laughs> but we're going to teach you words today that have the word that, um, well, we're going to teach you all the different meanings of flat, because a lot of these are definitely band seven or higher uses because they're not common. And you guys, I guarantee do not know all of these meanings of flat and you will impress the examiner if you can use this word in a slangy and idiomatic way. Um, and a couple of these you can actually find on an All Ears English episode as well. Yes, that's why I got the idea for this episode because I was doing keywords for our app. If you guys don't have the app, it's so helpful because we pull out all of the high level keywords, words you might not know the definition to, and we define them so you can get it super easy in the app, add it to your vocab list. And on episode 1680, go back and listen to it if you haven't, they taught idioms for being right on time, on the dot, I love it. right? And being somewhere in a certain time flat. And then I realized because I had to make sure we had the meaning they use that there's so many meaning meanings for the word flat, which this it's could crazy. be really confusing. So even the title of this episode, right? In 10 minutes flat, 15 minutes flat, five minutes flat. This is such a great idiomatic way to, ex to describe time. And it means exactly. So on the IELTS exam, if you have to talk about traffic or commuting or driving somewhere, traveling somewhere, this is so useful because you could say, you know, I can, I could get, if there's no traffic, I can get to my workplace in 10 minutes flat. And it's like, it's, it's, it's highlighting the fact that like, this is it, right? That's, that's all you need is 10 minutes. So that's a great use for IELTS. Yes, exactly. Right. All of these that we're going to share today are so useful for the IELTS exam. So I'm excited to share them, but make sure guys, if you don't have our app, go to allersenglish.com slash app, A-P-P. It's so useful for learning vocabulary for the IELTS exam, saving a lot of time and being able to listen to that podcast with the transcript. So get it today. Um, and it, you can get it in the Apple app store, Google play it's everywhere guys. Totally. Um, okay. I want to, first of all, give it a, a two shout outs. One is to three key student Caillou who went from a 6.5 to a 7.5 in speaking in just 30 days, guys. And the key 
was vocabulary, like we're going to teach you today. All right. So just want to show you how important it is to have this idiomatic vocabulary. It impacts your speaking score, you guys. And then I also want to give a shout out to Jeffrey. He runs a Facebook group for IELTS Filipino nurses. And I did a Facebook live for them the other day, just a short speaking class. And it was such an amazing experience to interact with all of the students there. So guys, if you want one of us to do a Facebook live, if you have a big following, a big group like the IELTS Filipino nurses on Facebook, we could do a live on Instagram or Facebook for you guys. So email me, jessica at allearsenglish.com. If you are a teacher, or trainer and would like us to do a little class with you guys because we are open to that. We love meeting students. Okay, yes. so let's get into this. Um, Aubrey, what is the first meaning of flat for our students? So you guys have definitely heard this meaning for a surface to be flat, meaning it's smooth and even, right? A basketball court needs to be totally flat with no bumps. You're likely familiar with that. Um, but there are so many more meanings. So first of all, just flat as a horizontal position for a person. Maybe you're also familiar with this, but we would say she was lying flat on her back. Exactly. Exactly. So this could be useful when you're describing sleeping habits. So that's a group of part one questions, right? So you could be like, I have trouble falling asleep if I'm completely flat. I can't be. I have to have at least five pillows behind me. So <laughs> my head is at a bit of an angle. <laughs> totally. Something like that. Yeah. Um, that. So the, uh, I, one of my favorite meanings, and I do use this a lot, is to be like totally or completely or absolutely, right? Yes. Um, here's a great idiom, to be flat broke. It means I have completely no money. <laughs> I have totally no money, nothing at all. Flat, broke. So those are two idiomatic words in there in that one phrase. Um, But you could also be like, no, this is so if you if you're turning somebody down and you want to say no to somebody, then you could be like, no, this is a flat. No, it means like this is completely there's no room here. (laughs) It is a total no. Yep. If someone asked someone for a date and they, it's a hard no, they'd say, I turned him down flat means it was an absolute complete. No, there was no, we weren't ambiguous in this answer. I like that. So it is the opposite of ambiguity, right? Also a hard no, which is, which is also idiomatic. I love that. Um, so here's another meaning and it's totally different than what we've described so far, right? I feel like so far, a lot of these meanings do have something in common to be like, um, uniform completely, like totally Mm -hmm. flat, a complete no, like it's, you know, like the opposite of ambiguity as we said, but here, here's another totally different meaning, dull or lifeless, right? Boring. Um, it's often used to describe a lack of emotion. Um, when we're helping students improve their speaking scores, a lot of it is like you have a flat pronunciation and that's not going to get you a seven or higher for pronunciation, right? You have to be expressive. Um, so that's, that's, I think the best way to remember this guys is don't have flat pronunciation. Um, how else could we use that? I could see you saying this in IELTS speaking. If you say something intentionally with a bit of a monotone and then explain why and say like, I know I said that with a flat voice. It's because I find that so boring that I refuse (laughs) to be excited about it. Something, right? Especially if maybe you catch yourself using a monotone and you realize you shouldn't. And then you say, oh, my voice is kind of flat there. I think it's because I find that issue very boring. (laughs) Um, I could see using this as an adjective for genres you don't like maybe Mm. because it doesn't, um, appeal to your emotions. Like I find the plot lines of most rom-coms or any romance stories pretty flat, which means like, I find it boring. It's always the same. And we'll say it leaves me feeling flat. Oh, right? that's you're like, oh, that's I saw awesome. that it left me feeling really flat. That's so boring. good. That's so good. interested. Yeah. Um, all right. What is one more use of this word, Aubrey? 
So we talk about the flat of something like the flat of your hand. If something was so you'd be like, oh, I put the flat of my hand on my forehead. It's like it's when you're like, oh, that was terrible. You guys got to watch this on YouTube <laughs> to see me acting it out. The flat part of your hand, you put it to your forehead to emphasize how ridiculous you think something is. Yeah. Remember guys, we, we, um, we do come out with three episodes a week on this podcast, right? But two of them are also on video on YouTube. So definitely subscribe to IELTS Energy TV on YouTube guys. Um, and then the last note is to wear flats, which, which are shoes without heels. Um, this reminds me guys that actually this is part of a special black Friday course that we made for you guys. Um, so maybe that's a little hint as to what yes. you'll get in there to wear <laughs> heels or flats to a party. Um, guys sign up at all ears english.com slash black Friday. Cause this package, this course is only available on November 26th on black Friday. So sign up all ears, english.com slash black Friday, and we will send you reminders. So you won't miss it. Um, this is the only day this course is available. It's so amazing guys. You need it for the holidays and for every networking event in your future. Um, all right guys. Uh, so, so many meanings of the word flat. I had no idea. <laughs> no, I didn't realize either till I started really thinking about it. Crazy, a crazy amount of meanings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you, Aubrey, so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Bye.